Hello there, greetings in Jesus' name. This is Sule Emmanuel. Welcome to Jesus Every Day, Light for your daily path. Our topic today is a uh, new thinking, and this is part 11. And our Bible reference is taken from God's Word in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Friends, there is power released through our thoughts. A story was told about a man who was locked inside what he thought was a walking freezer. He begins writing letters because he's convinced he will die. His letters conclude with a passage in which he says he can't write anymore because his fingers are starting to freeze. When they find him dead, they discover not only the letters, but they also discover that the freezer's temperature never dropped below 50 degrees the freezer was not clogged but he believed he wouldn't survive because of where he was placed the man thought he was in a walking freezer and something inside him told him that he would not make it friends listen to this what you believe determines what you survive our human challenges are basically the same but some amongst us end as victors and others as victims. It is all a function of our mentality. If you believe you will fail, you begin to attract everything that will make you fail. If you believe that you cannot rise to great levels, everything will start aligning to keep you small and average. If you think that what you are doing will not work out well, will not be successful, then you will not end up as a success. Your expectation affects your situation. I urge you today to begin to discard small negative thoughts. Begin to see things differently from today. See yourself as a success. See yourself as global. This is God's counsel to us today. And here is a task for today. Do a self-analysis and check if there's an area of your life where negative expectations limit you and they stop you from doing certain things. And please pray about them. I believe that you're blessed today by God's word. I encourage you to pay close attention to the wisdom push for this declaration and our daily Bible reading. The Lord bless you richly. Have a great day, Father.